the profit function for a firm is given by, and then we know what the profit function is, find the break-even point. So given a profit function, break-even means that profit needs to equal zero. So it's good practice, and I'm going to try to always remember to do this for you. To We're going to graph it first to get a feel for what the function looks like. To get a sense for where to start, should I count 1, 2, 3, 4, or 10, 20, 30, 40, or 1,000, 2,000? You can um, kind of look at the size of the numbers up in your graph. So 160 and 1,500. I probably don't want to do 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, I'm going to count by 15s. And go up to about, I don't know, 300, 200. I can always add on later if I need to. And then my profit function, negative 1,500 plus 160 times, get the x value, take away the x value squared. And copy that down. And I stumbled on one uh, break even point right there because the profit is equal to zero. Let's graph what I've got. Insert scatter plot. Okay, I was expecting to see a parabola that opens down because it's a negative x squared equation. And I can see that 150 is one of the break even points, but I don't have data over here for where the other um, value is where the profit equals zero. So I'm going to open up Goal Seek to find it. It's in the Data tab, What If, and Goal Seek. My set cell is I want the profit, which is B10, set to a value of zero by changing the cell that makes this profit function change, which is the number of units on that same row. So I should have row 10 and row 10 here and hit OK. And X turns to 10 and the profit says 1.854, but then notice that that's in scientific notation. And to change that into decimal form, that's on the Home tab here in the Number menu, change it from General to Number. It will default to two decimal places, but you can add more decimal places to see that Excel couldn't find exactly zero, but within the, the uh, limits of the precision that are built into basic default Excel, that's the closest I can get. So the X value would be 10 and 150. However, in the problem it says that space requirements have to be less than 100 units. So for WebAssign, I can only use the answer of 10.